It was an interview that went viral, right, from Cameron Mays talking about how big you could have been. They said you could have been on Jay-Z level. And Jim Jones, he wasn't too happy about them comments. But I want to ask you, how did you personally feel about them comments? And how do you feel about the people that say that, you know, you being lazy is the reason why you didn't reach your full potential? No, I mean, I, I, I did hear that. I, uh, um, yeah, he, can't, he, didn't, he didn't use those words. So I, don't, I ain't even going, because then that would make me, you know what I'm saying? But he, he did say, they did, you know what I mean, mention me being the next Jay-Z. And I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe I, maybe I could have. I wouldn't want to say Jay-Z because I never strived to be Jay-Z. You know what I'm saying? I think that's where Jim kind of like took it. I mean, shout out to Jim. He's my brother. So, you know, he gonna say, he gonna say how he feel all the time. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, and then, which is the truth. I never was trying to be Jay-Z. I was always just trying to be mean. You know what I'm saying? Even like, you know, a lot of people was claiming King of New York. My whole thing, I was the prince of the city. You know what I'm saying? I never wanted that, that King spot or that, you know what I'm saying? But I was that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So in that sense, I know what they're saying. I, I, me being, just being that nigga and being one of them guys, I think that's, that, that's more or less how they meant it. So and that's how I'm, a, you know, kind of like carry it. But, um, yeah, you know, it's, uh, I definitely could have been way further than I am. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 but I don't ever blame nobody. That's what the thing with me is. I don't never, I blame myself for anything that, that's held me back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't sit there... I'm not the nigga running around, yo, yo, he, this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, but you could never say I was lazy and nobody, even if you look at my track record in the game, like, I always said, I didn't put out albums. And for whatever reason, I didn't put out albums, politic reasons, I still gave hella music. Look at my mixtape track record. I got about nine mixtapes out there. Don't get it twisted. I mean, me and Wayne got two mixtapes out there. You know what I mean? couple 40 songs out there so that was just the politics of the label you got to understand it's like and you see it now like with these labels oh, all the big artists telling you how you should have been independent it was a lot of games being played at labels so our game was to not turn in the album you know what i'm saying and you see a lot of artists that was our 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 weight you know what i mean to not turn in the album you know what i'm saying so I would put out mixtapes. I put out mixtapes in the time with Def Jam bullshit and they dropping the ball. They not doing what I need them to do or they not doing things how I feel them or, or, or putting me in the light that I need them to put me in. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. I never feel like I had the team around me that I needed to have to, to push me to that next level. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, that's not me blaming nobody. That's, that's kind of like me. I, I, I'm responsible for putting that team around me. You know what I'm saying? I've always kind of like wanted to help the homies and wanted to help, you know what I mean, the guys. You know what I'm saying? That they, they never really got it together. It's just me trying to, you know what I'm saying? Empower people that maybe I shouldn't have been trying to empower. You understand what I'm saying? But we all live and we learn at the end of the day. So, but I got hella music out there. If you look at my track record, that's why I'd be like, it's really just albums. My, my, Album wise, I didn't, you know, two albums. So it's like over the years, well, two albums on Dev Jam and then God Willing was really an album. You understand what I'm saying? That was, but I said mixtape because I didn't want Def Jam to, to have that. I made more money on it as a mixtape. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just like now how people play with words and stuff like that. And then it's like, even for the sales part of it, yeah, it's like, if y'all not going to put all the backing into it for me to get the amount of sales that I know I should be getting, because like you said, I know I'm like a Jay-Z or a Wayne, so I'm not going to have it back in the day. It was like sales really matter. So it's like first week, if y'all not going to put the effort in, into it that I need y'all to put into it for my first week sales to reflect the kind of nick that I am, you know what I'm saying? Then I'll just keep going the mixtape route and keep feeding my fans. They love me. You understand what I'm saying? And if you look at the way the game went, like, come on, bro, like, really look at my history, like, dig into who the fuck I am, bro. I had my own studio when I was 18. I was shooting my own videos, mic check, paying for all these trends. I started everything, bro. Everything, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Shooting my own videos. I had my own studio when I was 18. I was making, I had my own disc burners, burning my own CDs. You understand what I'm saying? putting them out myself. I was doing all this shit myself, bro. All of this shit. 
Jimmy Cam was coming to my studio to record music. And I was the young fella. You understand what I'm saying? So that it's easy to get that kind of like, don't ever, Joel's was never lazy. I had a lot of issues, you know, with the label. So I was kind of like back and forth with them. But really Google how much music I got out there. I wouldn't be able to be the type of nigga I am if like, come on, look at my track record. I could do verses by myself. How? How? You understand what I'm saying? You can't play with me like, like, I mean, it's just that Nick definitely did expect me to be on that level of like where Wayne went with it. And we're so it kind of like, damn, he come on, Joel's they they still I, I know what it is. You know what I mean, that's why I don't I don't even I just send back because I'm, I'm 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 right now. You know what I'm saying I'm getting ready to shoot. So I ain't even tripping. You know what I'm saying? But don't ever get it twisted. Do just just do the history. Google me and, and, and my sh everything from the trends to the clothes to how do you come on? I've been I've just been quiet. I don't talk. And these niggas try to act like they they all watching me. All these niggas, man, still to this day. Micah Mary, Murder Bavad doing this sh first. Me. You know what I'm saying? Still, still setting this shit off. They they watching. You know what I'm saying? The government put the game's been missing. They need me right now. So, you know, the fans is like, they 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 poking cause they 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 poking to push me out. They poking the bear cause they want me to attack. They know, they know it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Might be like save the day type shit. You know what I mean? They know I'm a superhero kind of nigga. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Now I feel you, man. But me listening to you, it seems like when people push that narrative that you was lazy, and that's the reason why you didn't reach your full potential. It seems like that triggers you. Like you don't like when people say that. It ain't even that. It's because I know the truth. Even you know what I'm saying, even now, I got a hard drive full of music. So it's don't get lazy with not putting out music and having. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I mean, because the fans misinterpret that sometimes. So you know, and nobody's ever said that. Even like the interview with Cancer, I'm not gonna say. They or nobody specifically said, because deep down, niggas know, like, Jewel's, like, just look at the track record the, from the mixtapes, four solo mixtapes, Final Destination, Back Like Cook Crack, whole series, one, two, three, four, um, all the Diplomat mixtapes that we did, the whole Diplomatic, let's be, the Diplomatic Immunity album was my album. Diplomat, I never really, Diplomatic Immunity album was my album. It was all my album. You understand what I'm saying? We decided to put an album out to help catapult my album. You understand what I'm saying? Let's put out, the more, the more looks you get, the better you're off, you know what I'm saying, when your album come out. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it worked. It made sense to me, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we did. Let's put the dip of my album out. Because at first, I'm like, let's put my album out. Why are we putting the Diplomat albums out? Then Cam explained to me, no, we're going to get you the first single that's going to be the, you know what I'm saying? But all of those was my records. I had one verse on. I used to be one verse. I used to do one verse in the hook, one verse in the hook, go to the next song, one verse in the hook. Um, Built this city, I'm ready, all those songs. And Cam and Jim wound up putting verses on it. That whole sound, you know what I'm saying? Not to say it like that, but listen to, to, to you know what I mean, before I came along, like, I started rapping to those soul food beats. I, I picked the hit, heat makers beat. You know what I'm saying? And that became our sound. You understand what I'm saying? Don't ever understand who I am. Like, I'm, I'm him. Even just to saying dipset. I said that in a rhyme and it became dipset. Because we was the set. And, and, and you know, as, as being blood, you know, it's like rep your set. So we was the dipset. You understand what I'm saying? I said, come on, man. Understand who I am. Understand me. I'm I'm really, really him. You know what I'm saying? I'm really him. But y'all niggas know me. Y'all just act like y'all. Y'all just they, they they just act, you know what I'm saying? They just act brand new sometimes. Like they wanna, even to this day, like, you know what I'm saying? But don't worry. I'm about to I'm about to cruise back in this shit so smooth on these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry. I'm not even worried about it. Yeah, that's news to me, man. I had no idea that that was your album. 90% of the album was mine. It was my album. Besides the songs, like, I Really Mean It, like, that was a Cam song that he put on there, of course. But every record that we did, was it was my album. I was gearing up for my album. And those songs turned into 
diplomat songs, which was great. Like, I'm just telling you what it is. I'm not saying that in there, but I'm trying to get y'all to understand who I am. Lazy, nah, I'm him. I'm him, the creator. The, you know what I'm saying? Without me, like all these niggas saying, like outside of J, like niggas, certain niggas, you know what I mean? Like, not JR, like, but just anybody. Anybody saying it, I created the sound. The dipset sound, me. I got the first Heat Makers beats. And the first song picked, I think, off the Heat Makers beat was like, I'm ready, I think. And I did that. Started doing that. Even Jay, I remember Jay Z came in the joint and watched Jay. He was like, yo, you know how you be rapping to the, to the, um, it's like you stop and then you let the beat talk, like how we did with old, the boy, y'all can't f with the, I'm telling you. He's like, that's your shit. You gotta keep doing that shit. I mean, come on. That's me. Stopping and letting the beat talk. That's me. Come on, man. Y'all got me fed up out here. That's why I gotta re reprogram you motherfuckers. Cause y'all niggas dumb. I'm not talking about you, but just this is to the people that just got me fed up. Don't ever get me fed up. I'm him. Him, 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 him. Not the other one. I'm him. You know what I'm saying? For real, like, you know what I'm saying? And we all played our part. That was a beautiful thing about Dipset. But, like, we all, like, Jim was the capo. Jim did, you know what I mean? Jim was the talker. Jim was the one who just, coolie Google, he snapped your cool. That's what Jim, you know what I mean? Cam was pink. Pink, he had his, you know what I'm saying? Boy, man, I had my own studio at, I don't know what age, bro. Jim Ball, all that shit was, well, Ballin' was, that specific song wasn't recorded in my album. But that album, as Jim, all that shit was recorded in, Diplomatic Immunity Volume 2 was recorded in my studio. Cam's part of Purple Haze, some of those records were recorded in my studio. You know what I'm saying? So I get, you know what I mean? Don't ever get it confused, the fact that me should have been bigger than I am with, you know what I mean, being lazy. That Those two things don't coincide. It's just, you know what I mean? I feel like, it was a lot of issues I felt like I didn't, and, and, and treatment that I felt like I wasn't getting at the label that, you know, and like I said, I don't blame the label, that's whatever. It is what it is. It's things I should have been doing myself too, but music wise, I got a boatload of music out there. That's why I could stand with the best of them right now. Like I said, I could do a versus by, despite the dipset versus, I could do a versus Joel Santana by myself with hits. You understand what I'm saying? More hits than a lot of niggas. Some of these new niggas, a lot of these new niggas that's out, they can't even still, come on. That's who I am. So, you know what I'm saying? I just, like I said, I never really felt like I had the total true support of, of my label. I never felt like they, they believed in me the way, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they believed like I was that, that nigga like that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? I was playing the games I was playing with them. And I was, you know what I mean? I wasn't turning in the album like I should have been. Yeah, so to the fans, it may look like I wasn't giving in the album. I mean, the me and Wayne album was a lot of politics. So, I mean, that was, that was bigger than me or Wayne. It was just a whole bunch of people involved that, you know what I mean? But really, really look at my, really look at my history. Like, nah, that nigga, everything. First nigga in New York City, artist, rapper, with a Rolls Royce. Swiss Beats had one. Bentley, like me. I was him. I was innovating this, this whole shit. All this shit they doing, that's me. Everything. Wallet chains. Belts. Cop, I mean, come on, am I lying? Oh, no, like, I mean... You know what I'm saying? But they don't, they don't, why they don't give me the same leisure they give niggas like Andre 3000? Andre get to lay low and drop whenever certain niggas get to drop. But I get it though. It's like, nah, Jewels, come on, man. Bust these niggas' ass. So that, I don't, don't worry. I'm going to bust these niggas' ass for y'all. I'm going to give them what they want. I just say, that's why I've been, if you notice, I've been real quiet and real low. I ain't even been talking because it's like, I'm just about to come with the music. You know what I'm saying? I ain't been on Instagram or nothing. I ain't really been posting nothing. It's quiet to the storm right now. It's the motto. Quiet to the storm. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm, 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 I'm better off. A, I'm, I'm more of a shower than a talker. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of these niggas went out here. They went on Instagram because they know how to talk that, that super fly shit that make them look better than 
who they really is or what they really, really able to, you know what I'm saying? But don't worry, I'm back on my shit, you know what I'm saying? Bandanas, bandanas tilted, come on. Bandanas, come on, they tilted, come on. Come on. Come on. BB's. So that was all you? Like when Wayne BB. would dress with the wallet chains with the skull and all that? That was pretty much you, huh? I mean, I, I, maybe ask Wayne. Wayne, yeah, that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Be, but that was my brother. Wayne wasn't a nigga who Wayne, me and Wayne was together. So certain shit that Wayne, Wayne, back, oh, I need that. You know what I'm saying? Wayne wasn't a nigga that was like sneaky with his shit, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Same way with me. If Wayne was on some shit that I wasn't on, yo, where you get that from? What? You know what I'm saying? But we ain't gonna let you know, like, what it is with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't need to sit there and... Cause it's, me and Wayne is too cool for that, for me to ever sit here and be trying to make it look like... You know what I mean? That's my brother. We we, we supposed to take take the good good from each other. You know what I'm saying? That we see in each other, from each other. So whatever he got from me is just as much as... You know what I mean? What I, what I try, to, try to get from him. You know what I'm saying? When I'm around him. You know what I'm saying? Good energy, good vibes. You know what I'm saying? Even like that time when we was making that music, like Wayne came to me. I was supposed to do a, a mixtape with Jeezy. Jeezy got hot. You know what I'm saying? Crazy, crazy was on the road. Me, that mixtape ain't paying out. Wayne said, yo, let's do the mixtape together. And that just pushed me because Wayne was like, ma, he was what I needed to really like. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew every track I had to come back. You know what I'm saying? It was like a friendly competition. Like, just as much as love as we had for each other, we knew. We were, it's like, I, it wasn't more or less like I'm trying to kill him on a song. It's more, it was more or less like, I'm trying to blow, my, I'm trying to blow, I'm trying to have my, I know he's an ill nick. So how do I make an ill nick that can rap? Scrunch his face up and be like, oh, 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 that nigga said that. Oh, that nigga said that. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of relationship and type of, I mean, back and forth me and Wayne had. It wasn't like a, oh, I'm going to kill this nigga on a song. It was more or less like a, oh, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a make this nigga know. You know what I'm saying? I got bars in the same way with me because we was just, you know what I'm saying? We was young, up and coming. So, And that's the energy you got from, from, from both of that, from that whole project. You know what I'm saying? 